Hi everyone, welcome back. I wanted to do today basically just kind of like a get ready with me, but not getting ready with me because I'm not going anywhere. Because <laughs> it's quarantine, as you all know. I wanted to do kind of like a chatty kind of vlog. Just kind of talking about more like, not more serious stuff, but just kind of stuff that's probably on a lot of people's minds. So yeah, and I think it's just if people are still, you know, in the same position as me, where they've just kind of not fully graduated yet, but finished all their um, projects or assignments or dissertation or whatnot, um, and you're just kind of sitting here now like, like, what now kind of thing. What I'm going to do next, what I'm not going to do next, because I have no clue. I want to show you what I do with my hair, just like, really quick kind of like not even on the point of this vlog but anyway um and i've basically washed it and it's clearly still wet but i've brushed it um and i put this in it which is what i bought and it's it literally works as a treat on mainly wavy and curly hair in terms of finishing uni um i've literally about a few days ago completed my last project um which was a brochure i had to do for my contextuals module um i just put this through my hair um and basically it was like a kind of like a portfolio of my work um like final major project work um and if you don't know and if you've just come across my video hey um but i do fashion promotion and communication at the university of northampton and mine actually focused on vintage fashion, which was uh, something that I absolutely love. It turned out really, really good. Um, hopefully they'll like it. Um, if not, I do a few posts like this on Instagram um, where people have actually, you know, more engaged with it more. It's basically me kind of just saying about, you know, the situation that we're in, you know, COVID-19, how it's either affecting me, um, and or other people and i think people engage with that more to get messages saying like um either do that more um or that they really um felt that um and understood so i thought i'd do kind of like a video on it i'll be looking for a job all these graduates and stuff in third year or fourth year or whatever it's quite worrying um you know because you don't you don't know whether to apply i've just kind of been waiting for the job that i think I would do all right at <laughs> um but yeah I just think I'm kind of in that waiting bit of do I apply now um or am I waiting until I get my results um there's like a lot of things kind of playing about this you know time you know t it's made me reflect a lot um about you know just i think the important things in life i don't want this to be like way too deep but like i just think you know i absolutely love social media and instagram and stuff you know that's and blogging and creating content you know that is really what i enjoy i realize social media it's, it's something that i you know again absolutely love but i do see times where i feel like i should post which is like a really weird concept and i think like a lot of people feel like that in you know in the blogging industry and stuff you know especially during this time i haven't posted every day which or like once every two days which normally i do um and i've just kind of seen the more important side like only posting content that i really love that's now what i'm gonna continue to do you know following accounts that really either inspire you or just make you feel good um or your friends and family and stuff you know just people that push you up instead of either tear you down or don't help you in life or whatever whatever the thought is um, to reflect um about this whole situation and stuff i do feel that i'm now only going to post or write um when i definitely have like a feeling of wanting to you know a lot of posts where it's been incredibly inspiring people are showing the other side of you know behind the camera and stuff or the posts that they weren't going to post because they thought they weren't good enough um and stuff like that and i think that's i love seeing posts like that and i think again 
um, I keep saying during this time, but it's, it really is during this period of time of um, reflecting um, that people, I think a lot of people on social media and who aren't on social media and stuff are posting um, more heartfelt things and um, I think just realising what's important. I've even found it in my clothing, you know, talking about mat materialistic things, you know, I love clothes. <laughs> um, a little bit too much, but yeah, I do. Um, especially secondhand, charity shop, vintage pieces, um, as you guys know. Um, that's all I pretty much post about on my Instagram and social media and blog. During this time, I personally haven't bought anything for myself. Like, the only, <laughs> the only thing during this time I've actually bought for myself was um, a acrylic... I bought acrylic paint um, to paint some of my jeans, which will be the next video, I swear. Like, it's been a long time coming, but yeah, that will be the next video. Um, and I've also bought, to put with acrylic paint, you need um, fabric medium. Fabric medium. Um, so I bought that, and I actually haven't bought any... Um, clothes at all. I think beforehand I wanted a lot of vintage stuff so I could talk about it and I could love it um, and kind of promote vintage pieces um, and obviously I still will you know after all of this but I think I'm definitely gonna be more picky about what I choose. I only really buy clothes that I know I'm gonna 100% wear it and I think that during this time it has actually changed my outlook on it which is positive. It's quite hard to talk about it, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, I think mental health is such an important um, topic um, and conversation that people do need to have more, and it's great that people are starting to, you know, talk about it. And I just think, I think at the beginning of this lockdown, there was a solid week that I was just like, oh, okay, like, I'm getting into this, you know, I can do all my work, uni work, because I had like a ton of projects at that time. Um, I can do all my uni work at home, I can get really settled, um, get into a proper routine, I can do fitness, I can get, eat health, like there was a bunch of stuff that I was telling myself that I was gonna do, and I didn't like, and I think that's why, I think myself, that the fact that I couldn't get into a routine, that affected everything else that I was doing, so like my uni work, it affected my posting on Instagram, my blog, I didn't write for a little while, you know, and I haven't done YouTube for like two months, you know, there, there, there was a lot of stuff that I was kind of delaying and that was due to my mental health and just thinking like why, why can't I get creative or why can't I just start this vlog and whatever, but I think you have to be ready for that, um, and now I'm ready. Woo! From that point, um, there was a lot of like ups and downs and stuff just in myself. The fact I didn't want to finish my uni work, finding the motivation to, um, has been really hard for like students all the way around the world probably. I, I don't know, don't know what kind of changed my mind, but I think seeing people's posts on Twitter, Instagram, um, blogs, that did help me. And I think I stopped for a little while doing my projects. I actually, I think I went, it wasn't like a while, it was maybe like three or four days of just not doing any work at all and I really needed that. I just wanted to do something completely different. So I did and I started to basically cut up all of my jeans. Yeah, uh, not all of them worked out. <laughs> as you'll probably find out in the next video, but um, one pair actually I love. Um, and I'll actually show you just a little sneak peek now. So I had to switch tops because the other one was getting like trips from this. Phew. <laughs> Bless me. So these are the jeans. Um, I, they were just like flares basically from like Topshop. I needed a bit of a switch up and stuff in my wardrobe um, and as I haven't been buying any clothes I wanted to cut up all of my own clothes basically that I've already got so these are them um, I then put um, I bought these actually from Wilco if you want to know Wilco's 
bloody brilliant, let me tell you. Safety pins, and I've pretty much just got all the big ones um, and put them into the jeans, and I will be painting on these for my next video, which will be up next week. A few days, just... Uh, do I actually like? I do see what people, other other people have been going through as well, um, and I can totally sympathise. Just be a moment of time that I think we will all remember. Um, yeah, but I don't want to end this or talk about you know that kind of side of it. I just I just hope everyone's okay. Um, and. No, it's just such a weird experience, I think, and um, I keep saying that throughout this video, sorry, but um, it's just a weird time, and I, th I just think I needed this video to just kind of, you know, reflect kind of how I was feeling. I don't even know if I'm making sense in this video, but it makes sense to me. I do find it so refreshing to see just like another side of people, I guess, and um, I've seen like a lot of that during this time, so thanks to the people that are putting more like raw you know, versions of themselves out there. Um, because it's not obviously just refreshing for me to see it'll be so many other people that probably feel the same. I've been going on my, you know, one hour walk what well, you know what I mean. Um one walk a day for like an hour or so. Um and that's really helped. Um just getting a bit of fresh air. We will get through it and it's just a moment in time that I think will it'll affect us all and but we will all remember it and I want the people that are watching this to kind of take from this is obviously it's a negative time but try and make whatever you're doing into a positive so again with my chopping up or whatever of clothes restyling that's kind of like my positive thing from all of this but some people again they're baking or finding out they're really good cooks um, some people are painting or, you know, finding something to do. Some people are doing fitness. I see a lot of that on Instagram. I'm not, <laughs> apart from my walk. But I see that and I, again, feel inspired by that and everything else. So I hope you just take a bit of inspiration. And for those who are graduating, don't feel that you're alone. We're all in the same boat, you know. And again, what I'm talking about, you know, myself, it's important to me. It's obviously not important to everyone. Um, and I completely get that. Normally, again, I don't actually do videos like this. So if you do want another video of me just like chatting, I don't, I don't even know if this is good. <laughs> but about me just chatting, um, feel free to let me know. Normally I do fashion videos or my vintage styling and I might show a bit more photography on here. You know, uh, stuff that I've taken and do for my projects. So just let me know and uh, subscribe, like, comment, share. Follow me on my socials. So my Instagram is sophie.h and my fashion blog is called itsophie.com and I'll link them down below. But thanks for watching again and I'll see you soon.